You know, everybody wants to be as efficient as they can with their, their air conditioning or their heating. And we're fortunate here to have Jim of Four Core Heating here who knows a little bit about this, this uh, about, about how do you go about sizing, uh, you know, what kind of furnace you should have based on your house or what kind of air conditioner. And, and is it different in Ohio than it is in other states? What kind of considerations have to go into making that decision? Well, that's a good question, Randy. Yeah, um, you know, a furnace in Ohio is going to be definitely different than a furnace in, in Phoenix, Arizona. In fact, you know, I don't even know much about Phoenix, Arizona. They may not even have gas. A heat pump would be a very good application in Phoenix, Arizona, where it's acceptable here when, you know, you have a deliverable or all electric for your fuel, but it's not real desirable. Uh, you get a warmer temperature rise with your fossil fuel furnaces. Um, but what we size them for in Ohio is what we call design conditions. And in Ohio, we size a furnace to maintain 70 degrees in your house when it's zero degrees outdoor. Okay. In the summer, we size to keep 75 degrees in your house when it's 90 degrees outdoor. And there's a good, not only do we do this for efficiency and comfort, but we have to have a benchmark, okay? If I put an air conditioner in your house and you call me and say, well, I'm not comfortable, but I'm achieving 75, 74, 73 on a 90 degree day. And you say, I want it 65 in here. Well, I, I, you know, if I haven't, I'm not obligated to hit that because then you're just, you're, you're trying to find out what every person likes. And, and, and with that, there's pros and cons to all that. If you oversize an air conditioner, you don't dehumidify well. So okay. by sizing it to design conditions, we're really where we want to be. And that's the, the common point. Now, as I said, in other states, in Ohio, you're gonna heat probably nine months out of the year and air conditioning three. So a lot of people will spend their extra high efficiency money on their furnace and they'll go with a standard 13 sear air. Where maybe in Jacksonville, Florida or something like that, you're gonna spend your, your high dollar on your air conditioning and your furnace might not be much at all. You might just be with a heat pump or electric furnace. Maybe they don't put much emphasis on heating at all down there because they spend more time air conditioning. So yeah, yeah sizing at the design conditions, wherever that might be, uh, is, is the key to success uh, for efficiency and comfort. And obviously you guys have a lot of experience going in and figuring that out. And that's that's the beauty of working with people who know how to do this is you don't have to guess and maybe get too much, uh, of, too much of a furnace that you can't use or not enough. And we all want to be comfortable and we all want to know we're, you know, getting the most efficiency we can out of our out of equipment. So, uh, hey, you know, you can always see great videos just like this with Jim giving some other good advice all around heating and cooling your house. And if you want to see those videos, just check out the website forecoreheating.com and check it out right now. And Jim, thank you very much. Thank you, Randy.